everyone welcome 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 uh today we have a very interesting uh topic <laughs> i got the heebie-jeebies already so yeah when do y'all want to read that title for me <laughs> real quick <coughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> am i the asshole for telling her to cover up her body <laughs> dun, dun, dun. i mean like just based on that title like obviously <laughs> Obviously, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I'm gonna need some context. <laughs> I gotta feel like for a title like this, it has there has to be like there needs to be so much nuance in here that they are not like that they're burying the lead on. Otherwise, yeah. like Dar what would it have to be for this to turn around on you? Church. <laughs> <laughs> Synagogue. Mosque. Anywhere holy. <laughs> Alright, let's see if this guy makes right. any sense. Uh, yes. Let's go. All right, his whole thing starts off with him saying, <clears throat> I am fully aware that the title <laughs> sounds sexist, but hear me out, please. Me at the beginning of every video. So they know they've they, they've already dug themselves. Yeah, I mean, with the they, title they like They just start off this. immediately trying to crawl out of it. Trust me, I, I make these videos with these wild titles as well. Uh, oh, I know. You gotta start off with like, you know, listen, all right, I know this sounds crazy. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds crazy. Okay. All right. So my girlfriend comes from a wealthy background and grew up with maids, chefs, chauffeurs, etc. I was raised in a completely opposite environment and still adjusting to dating someone like her. When we're not with her parents, we spend a lot of time at one of her apartments. One what of. Is? One of. <laughs> one of her what apartments. Else? I can feel the wealth gap. My apartment blows a fuse whenever I have to use the microwave. <laughs> yeah, my internet used to die whenever someone used the microwave. Okay, before, before I continue, how how likely do you think this is going to flip after hearing just the beginning? Oh, it's still too soon for me to tell. It, yeah, it's 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 pretty. I'm still 50 50 on it. Okay, but well, now it went from 100 to 50 50 <laughs> because she's rich. I'm, I mean, okay, that's true. Right, right. But now I'm thinking, <laughs> now I'm thinking maybe it's like she grew up rich and like she has like people who dress her or something. Here's the issue. My girlfriend likes to walk around home barely wearing anything, which is fine, awesome even, but she does this even when the help are around. For example, last month, her family hired a new driver for her. He stopped by the apartment to introduce himself. She was only wearing underwear. Keep in mind, this is the first time they've met in person. I felt awkward. Uh, he was visibly awkward, and she didn't give a shit at all. I feel she was casually chatting to him this. while scrolling away on her phone. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's like in the chat, like, "Hey, yo." Okay, so <laughs> this... in the beginning, said that she's she's strolling around the apartment, tits out, you know, comfortable. I'm like, all right, you know, that's fine. Usually, I like to walk around just hoodie and underwear. I'm chilling. Mm. And then when you said that, like, people that come by that work for her. Like, I'm like, okay, well, maybe these are people that have known her since she was a kid, so she's just very comfortable. But then you said they just met that day. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not. But now, I'm, now I'm starting to, hmm. She does this all the time. She doesn't think she needs to wear any decent amount of clothes at all when people that work for her are around. She'll casually walk around wearing just a thong or a tiny crop top. Just a crop top, nothing else. She even does this with complete strangers. So, so wait, so either just a thong or just a crop top. So either no top or no bottom. <laughs> no top. I'm no, gonna imagine like she has like okay. exclu exclusively only covering one half of her Monday, body. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, she only wears the top half. Tuesday, Thursday, <laughs> bottom half. Um, she even does this with complete strangers. One time, she opened the door for the delivery guy wearing only a see-through gown. Yo, imagine being everything. imagine being that DoorDash guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to think this girl is like a performance artist or something. Yeah, yeah. She's or, just, a, just a holy exhibitionist, loves showing off her body, and it's all just mm -hmm. like a big a big old social experiment to her. That's, that's Keep the going. End, I don't, <laughs> no, that's I just, the end goal of the social experiment is to get featured on Reddit. Mm -hmm. yeah, th yeah, this was the point. Do the dudes delivering Popeyes, and then these weren't the chicken breasts he was planning on. <laughs> hey, <right>? yo. <laughs> these weren't the breasts he was planning on. Uh, looking at afterwards i talked to her about it and she was utterly confused as to why i felt uncomfortable then she laughed at me and told me to stop being a jealous baby she even said that i'm unreasonable 
We had another discussion about this yesterday and I told her that she probably wouldn't feel comfortable comfortable if I did the same. She said that she doesn't understand why I care what her staff think and that it never even crossed her mind that this is inappropriate. She told me that she only does this in the comfort of her home and not in front of actual people, i.e. people that don't work for her. She got kind of mad at me and vented to her friends. According to all of them, I'm weird for having a problem with this and an asshole for telling my girlfriend to cover up. She vented to all of her other rich friends. Oh, that, I'm guessing that her have... wearing crop tops in front of the gardener. That sounds like a the start of a porno. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> all of her other rich friends that have people in their circle that they call the help. First off, Dory, what is, what is your okay, take? Okay, well, I mean, the sensible part of me is like, yeah, of course that's inappropriate. These people, if they are clearly uncomfortable with her being like this in front of them, then sure, maybe she should, you know, cover up and, and, and just, I guess, be mindful of the others around her. But then there's that other devilish side of me that's like, oh, she's iconic. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. But... Uh, I don't know if I really buy her whole like, oh, I don't see how this is a problem kind of thing. It's like, unless she was just really sheltered growing up. So yeah, I mean, I, I, I guess I'll go with the sensible part of me and it's like, yeah, okay. She's probably doing a bit much. I mean, yeah, there is a part of me that's like, I wish I had that confidence to walk around my one of to, to walk to, to walk around, around, to walk around one of my apartments naked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yo, if I had two apartments too, I'd be walking around naked in front of people as well. Because <laughs> clearly, I didn't care about anything, especially not money. Uh, yeah, so, like yeah. What do you call it, Jacob? What do you call this? I mean, I, like, like the one one part of me is like, okay, so she was raised rich and shelter her whole life and she probably doesn't know any better but at the same which is a weird thing to say because like you're if like an, any and i don't want to come off as a prude but any adult should understand that if you're meeting somebody for the first time <laughs> she's saying like oh i shouldn't have to worry about what i look like for people who work for me and it's like but yeah but you're doing this to your DoorDash guy who doesn't work for you. So would you say uh, they're, they're not the asshole? <laughs> I mean, at this point, I would yeah, I would say this guy's probably not the asshole. That's the thing. He's no, he's not an asshole. I see where he's coming from, but uh, as a woman who's like, oh, we shouldn't, you know, judge other women for how they want to dress or present themselves, but also mm -hmm. like, I do see that total sense of entitlement. Uh, there. At this point, I'm I'm kind of going on like process of elimination here because I've because I've been spending some time on am I the asshole lately and there's like four things you can say right there's either you're the asshole which I don't think he is there's no assholes here which I also don't think is the case there's everyone sucks here which I don't think is the case so there therefore you're narrowing this down pretty so, pretty quick so therefore he must not be the asshole right yeah just I like how you took that process of like not but like all these other are wrong so this has to be the case so i i have a couple thoughts on this one it is wild that she's holding the humanity of people who work for her on the same level she holds the humanity of a spoon <laughs> as in not not at yeah, all it, it is it is really yeah it's treating your staff like like inanimate objects so y'all gonna y'all wild at me if anything i see that as a problem that the cheese treating these people like they're not people but here's my thing all right bear, bear with me here I don't necessarily think she is the asshole because for one, so all right, I'm gonna start with this. I recently took some sexual harassment training. I recently had some sexual, not, is there a story here, not, for, not because, <laughs> let me get this out. <laughs> not because I needed it, because recently I got- That's I, what I, the I title did. of this video should be. So I recently went through some sexual harassment so I recently, training. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut that at the front. Do I need to call someone? I recently went some, through, through some sexual harassment training, not because I'm in trouble, but because recently I have I've started a new job. I'm working, I work at Crunchyroll. And they and they she give us sexual class. like New York New York is standard to have sexual harassment training right so if we're talking about the workplace if we're talking about the workplace that that behavior usually is just inexcusable like yo technically you're the employer of of these people in the house so <laughs> dog if <laughs> if I pulled yeah, up so technically that is sexual harassment to yeah, everybody so that if I works pulled up for, in though. the Frederator <laughs> offices like butt ass naked for a shoot back in the day I don't think. Adrian and them would have been cool with that. However, yeah. though, because it's her home, it might be a little bit different. And really, I feel like in this case, 
because they're all going to be in her home, at least for the people who like work in there. So like, like people are cleaning and whatnot. If she makes it clear, if she's made it clear with them, like, yo, it's my house. So I'm probably going to be this, that, and the third. Is that okay? Does that make you uncomfortable? And they're like, okay, that's fine. Like actually not feeling pressured. Then really technically there's not a problem. But it doesn't sound like that's what's going on. Yeah, but that's the thing though. She should have asked first. Yeah, I don't, that's true. We don't know. Yeah, she, she, she's just, she's just doing it. Yeah, like she should have made it clear. She should have been like, all right, listen, these, this is my apartment. These are, this is how I live. These are my rules. Like you can let me know like how you feel about this. And if like, you know, it's, it's really going to be a problem, then, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll change things around. But yeah. and I just, I don't know, man. I just think that technically like if if i have more information i can confirm it. i mean but really, I, 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 I might if there be... has been consent if there has been consent among parties technically she wants to walk around naked she can in front of the people who work in the home i mean i might I know that I, sounds I, crazy i might be projecting because i can't get past like the rich upbringing and the fact that she has one like more than one that apartment. is nuts do not like, get me wrong. Like, like, yeah. but, yeah. but, but i'm but i'm certain but i'm thinking like I don't think that a person like that would have the self-awareness to ask for informed consent from the help about her state of dress. Yeah, I mean, she for all we know, yeah. she could have been raised with her parents being like, oh, you know, don't talk to them. or to, Like, that's honestly kind of what it sounds like to me. Yeah, like, this this could all be at the fault of her parents. Yeah. Like, who knows? Um. So knowing that all our stances, my stance is probably it's leaning towards if 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 it's presented as it is completely flatly, and we're making these assumptions i'd say she but if i'm going on my assumptions i'd say not necessarily anyone and there might be worth having a conversation mm -hmm. so in my eyes uh well they should have a conversation I, for sure yes yeah. yes they definitely they definitely need to talk about her no. having her titties out no, he'll, no uh, he'll just throw her no yeah. he'll just throw her out of one of her apartments butt ass naked and lock the door behind yeah her. yeah she got a whole other apartment to go to <laughs> Yeah, Yo, I mean, that hurts. Be like, what guy isn't okay with his girlfriend always parading around naked? Now, as we established, telling uh, people how to dress uh, probably isn't the move unless they're being like, you know, really, really weird about it. But something I do love telling people to do is to listen to me talk about the sponsor of videos like this one. It's Audible. Audible is the go-to for audiobooks, whether you're mobile or staying at home or lying to people about if you're reading or not. Audible offers an incredible selection of audiobooks across every single genre, from uh, bestsellers and new releases to celebrity memoirs, mysteries, uh, thrillers, motivation, wellness, business, and even more. And yo, I'm really giving y'all a bag here because as an Audible member, you can choose one title a month to keep from our entire catalog, including the latest bestsellers and new releases. Like literally, they're just giving you one audiobook, like just every month, like just comes with it. Members also get full access to a growing selection of included audiobooks, Audible originals, and podcasts. Me personally, I've been listening to Atomic Habits, an easy and proven way to build good habits and break bad ones. Because starting January, I told myself that 2022 was gonna be my year. It wasn't, but I realized it didn't have to be like that. And I could like still fix this whole thing. So I checked out Atomic Habits and I'm working on trying to get, you know, life all right again. So if you also want to lie to your friends about reading and also just get a great selection of audiobooks all around, go to audible.com forward slash Kurt Ritchie or text Kurt Ritchie to 500 500 to get a 30 day free trial of Audible. I, I, I don't know why you wouldn't take this. So once again, go to audible.com forward slash Kurt Ritchie or text Kurt Ritchie to 500 500 to get a 30 day free trial of Audible. And thank you to Audible for sponsoring this video.